So our next topic is uh, what is going on with the White Sox's new signing, pitcher Mike Clevenger, who is under investigation by the Major League Baseball for uh, abuse allegations against his child and his wife. And apparently his he threw his iPad at his wife when, while she was pregnant. Um, I think if, if this is true, which is pr- most likely, you know, the White Sox probably should release him. This is not something we should make okay in this uh, baseball league, and it's just terrible what happened. Uh, what's your thoughts, Evan? Yeah, so I'll get to the White Sox side in a little bit. Let's just talk about the situation in general. So obviously, like Thomas said, there was an incident where he threw an iPad. Um, and l- l- his wife, I mean, we'll put her ad in the, in, in the thing if we in the description if we get it but she's a beautiful woman let's put it that way she's a beautiful woman and i just don't understand these athletes man they got they got it all handed to them their children never have to work on a day in their life because they're making millions you're a great pitcher you're beloved by fans you just can't keep it under control i don't get it like why can't you keep it under control why can't you keep it under reps like i get higher aggression all this that's why they play sports but you have, what about the common sense? What about, what about, Hey, maybe don't throw everything away. Cause I have it all made like maybe that, maybe that, but I just don't get it. And anyways, though, is that, cause I understand there's mental health problems and I understand even the rich of the rich will have mental health issues, but this just doesn't, this is, if these are true and these are just allegations. So fair, fairest YouTube um, show on YouTube. So we got to be the fairest YouTube show on YouTube um, is that these are just allegations. So we can't hold this against them. But if this is true, this is a very evil person. This is not, um, Mm -hmm. this is, um, this is not like a, like I saw a tweet, we'll put it um, from the Tyrone something or whatever. We'll put it in either the description or video. If we find it was saying like, well, the White Sox have hired such terrible people, Tony La Russa, uh, Mike Clevenger. No, they're not even comparable. Uh, Mike Clevenger, what did, okay, Tony got a DUI. Like, yes, should you not drive drunk? Of course, but that's not like child abuse. Like, but anyways, that's besides the point. But this is, so you can mess up, but this seems very evil if it's just true. Um, I will get to the sock side of it, um, but I'll, I'll let you guys give some more thoughts before that. But Yeah. And I, I just have to agree with you, Evan. I mean, we can't hold this against him. You know, innocent to proven guilty. Um, right. These are just allegations, but if it is true, you know, it's just the same. I mean, you're throwing it all away. So, I mean, you're just throwing it all away. You got made. I mean, I, would, I don't understand these pro athletes and why they do that. Yeah. Well, the arguments always, they have higher testosterone there. And it's the same argument with people in prison. Like they, they, you know, they, they do this, they do that. And I get it, but still, what, don't you have a brain too? Like common sense, right? you know, I feel like it always seems like they just think they could get away with it too. I mean, you know, obviously look at Adrian Peterson, what he did to his kid. And now he he came back to the league, Uh, you know, Michael Vick after his dog fight incident, he came back. They always feel like they could get away with that shit. And even when they're after their, retired they do some stupid shit and they get most of the time get away with it like obviously Herschel walker he got away with the shit he did um yeah okay i mean the thing we got the thing we got to and thomas makes a great point is that these yeah they think they're above the law they they think they think they can get away with it and they won't and most of the time they do they're not even wrong um like tony russo got one day in jail i mean if it was probably one of us we're getting a year or two exactly yeah well we're we're done right. yeah we're done if it happens to us so that that's definitely something to keep in mind too but about the sock side because apparently and there are rumors again not completely true fair show on youtube uh the socks knew about this in the summer and the mlb knew about this in the summer if true jerry reinstart what are you doing idiot we have to build a team did you just not see the team last year we got destroyed on pitching uh teams the indians would just get hit after hit after hit we need pitching and we cannot have a jimmy lambert starting in the rotation this year we need we need solid guys because the division is not bad it's not or excuse me the division's not super great and we need to be at our best and this is not at our best if our supposed number two isn't even going to pitch 